Dr. David Jeremiah was the keynote speaker at that Columbus event, and we are very excited to announce here on The Watchman that he will also headline the Kufi Washington Summit on July 18th and 19th. Now, if you watch our great programming here at TBN, you know Dr. David Jeremiah and his fantastic program, Turning Point. Dr. Jeremiah is pastor of Shadow Mountain Community Church near San Diego and author of several best-selling books, including the blockbuster Agents of the Apocalypse. He is a prophetic voice and a good friend of Kufi, and we were honored to sit down with him recently to discuss what Israel means to Dr. David Jeremiah. Well, you know, I grew up in a pastor's home. My father was an evangelical pastor, and I remember that he always was positive about Israel. He's in heaven now, but I got, he was a preacher, and they gave me all of his sermon notes, and I found many sermons that he preached about Israel and how we should be supportive of Israel. And then, probably 50 years ago, it was at least 50 years ago, my father took me to Israel. For my first time, it was much different than it is now, and uh, I never forgot that. When I uh, became a pastor, especially since I've been in California, I've taken groups there every other year, just, uh, and not just small groups, but large ones, to see the beautiful place there. And uh, you can't see Israel, you have to experience it. On Sunday evening, about six o'clock, we put six St. Peter boats together, six, six big boats together, and the entire group goes out into the middle of the Sea of Galilee, and these boats are tethered at the, at the corner of the boat. There's a PA system there. I always tell them, I think this is about the place where Jesus was walking on the water. And, we, and, we, and when people come back from that trip, they say something like this, if nothing else happens while we're here, that was worth coming for just that. I've come to the conclusion the best thing you can do for Israel is to go there and to take people there. When I left Israel, the last time I was there, I told my wife, I don't think I realized until this time how very special it is to the people of Israel that we come, how important it is to them, how vital it is that we keep the fires burning in American support for Israel in the midst of what they're living with every day. I actually came back and told our um, tour director that I wanted to take a thousand people to Israel next time. The nation of Israel is unlike no other nation in that it is it sits under the covenant of Almighty God, who's promised that as long as there is a moon in the sky and stars in the sky and firmament on the ground, God will always be with Israel. You cannot destroy Israel. People have tried, and you can make them go away for a little bit, but you can't make them stay away. And God's promise to the people of Israel is an irrevocable, unconditional covenant. I think one of the things that's always consistent when you go to Israel is how many young people are there. And they're everywhere. And uh, they're not Christians, many of them. They're not evangelicals. Many of them are young Jewish uh, Hebrew students. But they go there because it is such a culturally rich place and uh, a great place to learn. And uh, I would say go to Israel whenever you can, as soon as you can. I had the privilege of taking my children and my grandchildren and last year I baptized all my grandchildren in the Jordan River and it was one of the highlights of our time. <laughs> 